Hey, what's going on Aquarius? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, for those of you who do not know me. Um, please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Flip the roles as you see fit. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, okay? Cross watchers, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you, loves, all right? Now, spirit of discernment, make sure you're cloaked in it, okay? Let me set my intentions and then I'll get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides for helping me with Aquarius's reading. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly, and so it is. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's good with y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. Thank you so much. What's Aquarius's energy? Oh. Women holding a heart upright position. So this could be you or somebody you're connected to. But however, it's a lot of love is what I'm seeing. A lot of emotions surrounding this situation you got going on. Okay, so. And it's with a man <laughs> in the reverse. All right. I see it's a man holding a coin in the reverse okay so it could be your person here or it doesn't have to be it could just literally be somebody in your story you could work with them they could be a family member but overall I'm gonna pull tarot to see what's good with them okay to see if they go against your best interest or not all right so look the journey card is in the reverse so you guys are off path in some kind of way okay so this is definitely some type of connection love connection I'm seeing relationship or something here. Let's see. Tell me about this woman holding a heart. <clears throat> okay. So four of cups in reverse comes out. So whoever the woman is, is definitely feeling very discontent. Okay, and truly, what I'm hearing is that, you know, this is you. you. You should be choosing happiness, choosing your happiness, okay? Overall, so four cups in a reverse position. Then I got this queen of pentacles in a reverse. So something could be making you either feel insecure or you may have a third party situation going on and it's someone that is connected or in the midst that could be very... Um, shallow or self-absorbed or something or they could manifest negativity but if not it could be just simply about nurturing yourself bringing love to yourself and that's what i really feel i do feel that way i don't feel like this is somebody else's energy i feel like this is about you aquarius you know choosing your own happiness and realizing here like look i need to bring the love to myself i need to care for myself i'm doing it for everybody else let me do this for me okay let me offer myself that with the ace of pentacles in an upright position okay but overall <clears throat> you want this you want an opportunity a new one and i feel like you want a new opportunity when it comes to the matters of the heart okay when it comes to love because there's a major imbalance there with the temperance card in the reverse and here go my lovers all right so you could be married you could have somebody that you have a strong bond with a connection with or you know it could be a partnership but it's a lot of love there, okay? Um, and you have to make some type of self-honoring choice here that's best for your situation overall. Um, but the good thing I see is that even with this person not being in pure alignment with you, you are choosing you, okay? You're choosing your own self-love and your own self-acceptance and your own feeling more self-empowered within yourself. So tell me about this man holding a coin in the reverse. What's up with this person? Mm -hmm. two of swords in the reverse the hierophant and burton okay so that's a decision that has to be made and and uh, it, this energy may have had a hard time making this decision or or just refusing to make the decision right and the thing is is like you guys are not in alignment just like i said with the hierophant card in the reverse there's some type of disharmony here your values may not be the same okay or they may not be fully committed and it's a burden okay 
Ten of Wands in an upright position. You may feel burdened. You may feel like you carry a lot of responsibility on your own. Whatever the situation is and the decisions that are being made, it's just not. It's not serving you. Is what I'm. What I'm hearing. It's like you're. You're recognizing like this isn't serving me. So I got to start putting back into myself here because this person. You may feel like they don't see your value or your worth. <clears throat> still keep coming out yeah it's an imbalance between the love lovers okay so hmm. tell me about the journey card in the reverse position it's like you guys seem to be on two different paths here yeah they're coming out as the emperor in a reverse okay masculine energy on top of that but they lack structure or some type of discipline when it comes to seeing progress in y'all connection. Three of Wands next to the Ace of Cups. Okay, when it's when it comes to seeing progress in y'all in your love life for real. And instead of you guys creating this this stable foundation here within the connection, there's frustrations, there's obstacles. Okay. Um, tell me about the journey card. Tell me more. What about these obstacles? was frustrating to Aquarius you guys just aren't clicking while well with each other you may have said some words to each other had it fallen out and it was just like the falling out was like basically the shit y'all said to each other was like just basically to win is it, you know how that go when you fighting the win is like oh I'm gonna say some shit that's gonna hurt you I don't you know and that's what I'm getting from it but you guys may have reconciled from it with the five of swords in the reverse but y'all still ain't clicking well with each other with the three of cups you still feel uneasy and it's causing a lot of fear and anxiety or some type of um old mental overload okay take a moment to just pause and regroup for a second it's, it seems like it's, it could be a stressful situation because this is a period of introspection for you i feel like you may even wake up in the morning like fuck here we go again right tell me about this journey card yep it's time for you to go within trust yourself trust your inner wisdom okay you're getting a lot of downloads coming from your spirit guides who are helping you and help and answering actually answering your prayers don't give up nine of wands in the reverse position Okay, you may feel defensive here, or this person may feel defensive here. Um, it may feel like it's a one sided situation, but keep standing tall and strong, is what I'm seeing. Keep being resilient. Um, and this is for yourself, it's not about this person, is what I just heard. This is for you, this is about your strength and your power. Okay, so stand in your strength, your power, your confidence. You may have a lot of self doubt. But this is about your self-sufficiency, Aquarius. This is about you being confident and overcoming your challenges, being able to sit back and reap the rewards for all of your labor, being able to sit back and, and look at your investments and see how you are multiplying and how you are overcoming and how you are fearless, okay? Don't doubt that whatsoever with this judgment in the reverse. Please don't doubt it. That's what's, please don't doubt it. Whatever this conflict or whatever this person may have said to you, they may have said some wicked shit. That may make you feel bad about yourself. It may have triggered you. It may have hit something, a, a, a spot in you that, you know, that you're still kind of insecure about here. Okay, but do some self-reflecting. This is your period of introspection. Take introspection. Take a step back and pause for a second. No matter what this person may have said to you, my spirit team is saying, fuck that. You are the nine of pentacles. You're doing your thing. Remember, people project. They're coming out as a man holding a coin in the reverse. Folk project. When they feel like shit, they want everybody else to feel like that. So don't internalize it. Ace of Cups. They may be being cold. Dishonoring. You guys are definitely off path. Okay? So let's see what message you have for Aquarius.
Take notice to the signs. Yep. Let me tell you, the angels are on point this year, y'all. This been coming out literally for every read. Take notice of the signs. Like they're showing up. They're definitely showing up. Okay, so if you see a feather, if you see a coin, if you see um, <clears throat> feathers, coins, uh, number synchronicities, anything audible, dreams. If you see something on a billboard that resonates or people talking and it resonates, pay attention because there's a message there. Okay. Um, Cupid is involved as well. And be honest with yourself. Okay. It's going to be a change in direction. So basically, let me show you. Notice the signs. Cupid. Be honest with yourself. Change in direction. And what I just heard. Okay. In my head, y'all. <laughs> is that Cupid is helping you to bring self-love to yourself. They're sending waves of love into your heart and mind awakening your life your love for life itself your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects i feel like this is about your awakening to self aquarius so be honest with yourself okay Look into your heart and you will know the truth of your situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself. Okay, your angels will support. They will guide you through any necessary changes. But be honest with yourself. Don't wear a mask here when it comes to this situation. Trust what you know to be true. Okay, um, you have been hiding. And let's see what it says from your true feelings. You've probably been afraid that if you admitted how you honestly felt, you would be overwhelmed with feelings and faced with making some necessary changes that you feel unprepared for. Yet the angels assure you that it's healthiest to face this situation with honesty. They will help you with your emotions, your relationships, and any support you need to make positive changes. However, the angels remind you to focus only upon your desires and not upon your fears so that you can attract the former and not the latter. Okay? The situation will improve when you face it squarely. You deserve better. Trust your own feelings even if others don't agree. Don't give away your power to others. Avoid getting caught up in the illusions that this is the way it is. Because that is a fucking lie. Change your direction. Change in direction. Okay, so the changes you're experiencing are divinely orchestrated. They're divinely directed. This is by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and guidance. So you are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Okay, so I'm going to read that. And then I I feel like I'm going to pull one more card. Then I'll close out. <clears throat> but this card signifies that you have, you have had a change of heart. That has altered the direction of your life in a positive way. Your old ways of living are no longer interesting to you. And you find yourself avoiding friends and pastimes that previously attracted you. You desire a lifestyle and career that will better fit your new interests and passions. The angels are guiding you through this time of transition. The law of attraction ensures that you'll manifest wonderful new opportunities and relationships. So you are starting a new phase of your life. This is the birth of a new project. It could be in the works for you if that's what you're working on. This could indicate pregnancies, birth, or adoption of a child if possible. There could be a new element in your life, okay? But it's it's going to be a blessing, even if it doesn't make sense right now, okay? So, close this out for Aquarius for me, please. Thank you. A fiery climax approaches. So, be careful, okay? Because it can get extremely heated. Full moon in Aries. It is time to see if you've been a little bit too much. Me, me, me. This is a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too far, or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level. You've created the situation for yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery but be nice be kind smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be being assertive is good just don't try to over um you know how people kind of like 
overpower people, not letting them speak, not letting them say anything, you know, just to try to that five us towards energy. Like, nah, I'm not gonna let you get one word out. Okay, but if you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. All right. Um, just have some fun. But there could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. Okay, so um, if that's your energy or if that's somebody connected to you's energy, just be careful. Whoever comes at you in that fiery Aries <laughs> approach, okay, just just step back. You know, be be nice, stay assertive, but don't entertain it. Don't match their energy. Any of that. I'm hearing choose a new direction with that too. Okay, um, choose a new perspective. Because mm -hmm, this is about you. You've been doing a lot of self-work. Remember what I said about people projecting. And that's what I feel like the energy is. It's like somebody is going to project this negativity off onto you or vice versa. However, okay. And you don't want to operate in that. All right. Because the way that the universe works, it works off of energy. And what I'm seeing here is that you're manifesting this whole new beginning for yourself. You're taking a whole new path in your life. And you're going to be tested with a whole lot of things, um, Aquarius, especially about how you will handle yourself when the people around you are being straight bullshit straight like that okay so choose the higher road is what i'm hearing for you aquarius all right so all right booms i will holla at y'all next week y'all be blessed and happy new year to you guys peace